Hello, everyone, and welcome to Advances in Plastic Molding. My name is Daniel Patterson, and I'm a corporate application engineer at Apriori. This product demonstration will consist of an 8 to 10 minute demonstration. Before we begin, a few housekeeping notes. If you have any questions after you've viewed this demo, I will be in a live meeting room from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Feel free to join by clicking the Join Trade Show button in this virtual booth to connect and have your questions answered. If that time block doesn't work for you or you prefer to meet one-on-one, -on -one, you can also schedule time with me via the meeting scheduler. On the event website near the chat panel, choose People, select my name, Daniel Patterson, and schedule a meeting with me. Alternatively, you can use the Leave Your Card button on the virtual booth page to have someone reach out to you. We have also uploaded a PDF of today's presentation plus additional resources which you can access in the files panel. So let's begin. Imagine costing a complex plastic assembly in seconds using a priori. This plastic uh, assembly could have a mixture of the following, multi-shot molding, insert molding, mechanical assembly, as well as rolling up the cost for various manufactured subcomponents using any of our existing process groups. Let's jump right into this. Now that we've pointed to the assembly we'd like to analyze in a priori, let's make a few selections and, and go through the costing of this drywall taping knife assembly we have. Looking at it, we can see we have a sheet metal blade, an extruded aluminum uh, blade stiffener, as well as our plastic over molded with insert handle. So the first thing we'll do is we'll pick the appropriate process group. In this case, we'll wanna pick assembly plastic molding, which will allow us to access all of the advanced assembly molding technologies. Our digital factory list is the same with all of our other process groups. We support all 79 regions of the world uh, with their associated labor rates and, and overhead rates. Let's just take our Opera USA for this example though. Well, let's come in and we'll review our stage materials. So clicking review and assign, we'll take it just a moment for Opriori to extract that bomb. So we'll do an initial geometry analysis and then come back with our actual build materials here. So what we've done is we've gone through the assembly CAD model and, and flattened it out. So we'll take each individual component, regardless of what level it's modeled at, so that we have the ability to define that assembly plastic molding structure appropriately within a priori. So first thing we wanna do is let's take our handle part A and we wanna include some threaded inserts. So we'll select those threaded inserts as well as handle A. Let's combine that together in stage one. So now we have that in one stage. Let's go through and take our handle part B and move that up. We'll move that up to be our second stage. Then we have the blade, the blade stiffener, and two of our socket head, uh, button head hex drive screws. We'll combine those together into a third stage. So now that we have our three stages, our, our handle part A, our handle part B, the blade stiffener and the individual components, let's define what type of components that they are. So the blade, we're going to say that's assembled, the stiffener is assembled, the screws are assembled uh, together. Then handle part B, that's going to be molded. Handle part A, that's molded. The threaded inserts, obviously threaded insert, we'll specify that. We'll then come in and specify our stage material. So for stage A, We'll come through and pick uh, an appropriate material. Let's say that we're going to do a TPE for that material. We'll specify that material. We'll then come through uh, handle part B. Let's specify our specific material for that as well. So let's say nylon type six, 30% glass for that. So now we have our structure identified with an a priori, the independent of the CAD structure, so we can cost parts accordingly. So I'll go ahead and click okay. And at this point, we can go ahead and kick off our, uh, the rest of our geometry extraction and manufacturing simulation. So right now, Opera is going through the rest of the geometry extraction. We're looking at uh, draw direction and, and any areas that would require slides or lifters or custom tooling to make based off of the assigned stages. So at this point, Opera has come back. We're currently sitting at a $17.24 component, including about $7 of, of uh, subcomponents and about $9 of the actual assembly process. 
coming over, uh, we can see our multi-shot molding. We have two stages as we defined within our, our cost guide, those two stages, as well as a pick and place, uh, in this case, a robotic loading for those threaded inserts. We then follow that up with our assembly steps, uh, this time for the blade, the blade uh, stiffener, and then our two stainless steel screws. So to complete our cost, we just need to provide a little bit of information about these two screws. So we'll select these, we'll go through and edit operation, and we'll actually come in and tell Operary, we wanna use the screw tighten power operation on that. So we'll include that, and then we'll recost our part uh, based off of those changes. So now we're coming in right now at $17.44. We've added about 20 cents in cost by uh, fastening everything together. In addition to our assembly steps, we also can control our cavity behavior within uh, the multi-shot molding process group. So if I come over to my process setup options, uh, similarly to the uh, injection molding, we do have that ability to optimize for minimum cost. So let's flag that as our, our desired option. We'll then run this, let Operary decide what's the most cost-effective way to produce this. So we'll vary the number of cavities and, and figure out where increasing tooling costs and reduction in cycle time meet for that perfect combination. When we're running through that optimization that will take just a moment longer than, than running with a default value of one. We've come back. We're currently at a $14.82 component. So we dropped our cost by about $3 and we've increased our tooling by about 22,000. Now let's look at this uh, as we increase our annual volume. So just like our other process groups, we can take that, increase our annual volume. Let's run this at 55,000. We'll look at the details. So right now we were picking uh, two for optimizing for minimum cost. We'll let that run and see specifically what Operary comes back with for that lowest cost uh, feasible routing here. So increasing that annual volume, we've dropped down to $11.77. Our tooling has gone up to $104,000. Let's look at some of the individual components. So if we come through, we can see our bill of materials has been uh, based off of the structure that we applied through that review and assign staging and materials. So based off of this, we've told Operary, these individual components are assembled together. So we want them under our assembly bill of materials. So Operary has gone through, added those out as part of that, uh, that bill of materials. I've had these parts already costed. So for example, if we were to open up this blade, just like a regular assembly with an operator, if this part was previously costed, we'd automatically pull that part in. So from the assembly plastic molding, you have the ability to, to mix and match both manufactured components like this blade, as well as purchased components. So for example, we have these two stainless steel screws. If we come over, we can see these are manually costed components. We've assigned a value of 18 cents per component to represent purchasing these components. So this all rolls in to our total assembly. We can come through and look at our total breakdown. So right now our assembly process cost is about 36% of the cost. The, the components make up 64% of our cost for a grand total of $11.77. And then over on our component cost, 77% of that cost is dictated based off of the material cost of the subcomponents. If we look over here, we can dive into that blade one more time. If we look at that blade, we can see our choice was a stainless steel material coming through. We can see $4.59 of material out of a total $5.33. So if we were to look at this, let's say that we wanted to uh, reevaluate this with a steel uh, and do a cost reduction. So let's move this over to a 1008 steel, rerun that analysis, and actually go through uh, looking at the assembly level again. So that's dropped our cost by about $2 from $5.33. Wrapping back up to the assembly, our grand total now is $9.47 uh, with a breakout of about 44% of the cost is associated with the assembly. 56% of the cost is from the subcomponents. 
Thank you for watching this demonstration. If you have any questions at this time, please feel free to join the live meeting within this booth by clicking the Join Trade Show button in the virtual booth. You can also download additional resources on this topic in this virtual booth, schedule a time to meet me with me one-on-one, -on -one, and view other demonstrations on the main product page. Thank you and have a great day.